first? Well, practice in lucid dreaming is the essence of of getting immortal, preparing to die. It means your plasma, your aura, your ka, your boat into the underworld is becoming phase coherent. In other words, if you don't get a big aura, you miss the purpose of life and you don't take it through death. It's even more important than your checkbook. <laughs> so um, getting a coherent aura, of course, means, you know, live food and uh, yoga and m- m- very much about living in a coherent charge environment, which means away from the metal city and electrosmog, you know, obviously you need a magnetic map of your bed. You need to know that a dreaming track in Australia is a coherent magnetic line by measurement. And therefore, if you want to go somewhere in your dream, you're going to need a road. <laughs> and uh, regarding the DMT, I would say, you know, the molecule does emulate the, uh, the endorphin and, and trigger the uh, pineal. The problem is that if you can't make it from yourself from within, you probably are not going to be able to take it with you when you die. So it's that is probably true. useful to have a few of those experiences. But generally, then, you need to learn to make the chemistry from within. Uh, I would call it maybe the Terence McKenna mistake, and because uh, that's all that you take with you when you go. And again, it's not an arbitrary uh, or even uh, uh, unmeasurable suggestion. It's, it's very measurable. You simply measure your aura for coherence with the, the GDV, uh, Karatkos, you know, uh, calibrate uh, Kirlian, and you can see the holes in your aura that arise from too much drug experience. And that then invites in astral parasites. Well, that is true. That That is definitely true. And I, I agree with that um, statement, especially in regards to a lot of these street drugs that have, that have come out, LSD, uh, ecstasy, yeah. methamphetamines, cocaine. 